seriously why am i doing this what is even the point what is the point are going to hear this annoying sound in the background i'm sorry it's my little it's my fan it's very hot in the uk for whatever reason the uk has no business being this hot none it's unacceptable it's like 34 degrees or something ridiculous anyway hi guys i'm back it's been a very very long time it's been been five months but i'm back i'm back i'm back and i'm here to update you about my weight loss journey let's no let's call this the beginning of my weight loss journey it's not no no i can't call it that no i really can't call it that but um i guess okay so i don't know no, i didn't mention it before i started keto if you don't know what ketosis is let me tell you on the 28th of may i decided to start the keto diet actually no that's wrong i started two days before that but i didn't get my weigh-in scale until um i didn't get my weigh-in scale until the 28th of may and that's when i officially weighed myself so 28th of may i started the keto diet and i i feel i've done quite well for myself if you don't know what the keto diet is keto is short for ketosis guys is it dark that's better okay so it's basically a very low carb diet or lifestyle so you have a low carb intake moderate protein intake and a high fat intake and when i say high fat i mean extremely high fat but not just any fat it has to be healthy fats but you can look into that a bit later on because to be honest i'm not entirely sure if i understand it but it's working for me i'll read a little bit of information that i have here it says while you eat fewer carbohydrates on a keto diet you maintain oh i just said that okay <laughs> The reduction in carb intake put ugh, the reduction in carb intake puts your body in a metabolic state called ketosis. This is where fat from your diet and from your body is burned for energy, which is basically why you end up losing weight. It's quite dramatic depending on how strict you're being. I have been as strict as I can. I actually haven't had any carbs, but because I'm still breastfeeding, unfortunately i um i've had a little bit of a higher carb intake than a lot of other people i read some research that stated that for women who are breastfeeding they should have a little bit of a higher carb intake because if your carb intake is too low it could be dangerous i don't know why it could be dangerous but to be honest i'd rather be safe than sorry so i've made my carb intake 50 grams a day instead of 20 grams a day however i never i don't think i've ever reached 50 grams i've I, I also record my food so i know whether i've reached 50 grams or not i don't think i've reached 50 grams i think the most i've had in a day is 30 a 33 or something like that i need to double check but so far it's going well i've not actually disclosed how much i weigh to anybody so this is going to be the first time i do it i am still extremely self-conscious about telling people how much i weigh i think the only person that knows is my boyfriend yeah he's the only one that knows now i think about it but because i want you guys to follow me on this journey i'm going to be completely transparent so when i started this journey i weighed 138 kg 
I'm a short person. That is a lot. It is a lot. Um, I didn't have a weighing scale at the time, but I, I'd been to my doctor's not long before that. So I, I, I kind of knew roughly. It was 138 point something kg. By the time my weighing scale had come, remember I'd said that I started keto two or three days before um, my actual scale arrived. So by the time it came, I was down to 137 point something. I'll put it on the screen. It's 137 point something kg. Um... So that was, yeah, the 28th of May I started that diet. I've been strict. I've not had any rice. I've not had any bread, no pasta, no, no nothing. It's been interesting. It really has been interesting. I've never done anything like this. I've tried numerous diets. I've tried fad diets. I've tried healthy diets. I've tried, I've tried a lot of things. And this isn't actually the first time that I found out about the keto diet. I had a friend at work. Um, she started a keto diet, I think when we first started back in 2014, she lost so much weight and she kept encouraging me to do it, but I always had an excuse. I regret not doing this earlier. This has been life changing. I mean, nothing major has happened. Nothing that anyone else would think is major, but to me it's major because certain things that I couldn't do before, I can do now. I, I've never been a disciplined person in um, when it comes to food I've never been a disciplined person so I really thought that I would struggle I love things like Chinese I love Chinese I love Chinese and I love Ghanaian food so this has been initially let's say initially it's been a struggle it's not been too terrible with the Chinese though because it's corona so most places have been shut thank god but it's been a it's been a challenge i like this challenge though i've become disciplined my portion control has changed i don't eat as much as i used to i've been i've learned how to fast i have an app on my phone that helps me to fast my current weight First of all, let me say, I had a plateau. Plateau? Plateau? A plateau. You know when you're losing weight and you stall? That word. So I'm going to put the word across the screen because I honestly cannot remember. Okay. Not that I can't remember. I don't know how to say it. Sorry. But I experienced that for about three or four weeks. And I just, for the life of me, I could not get out of it. It, it it pissed me off. It, it was frustrating because I wasn't losing any weight on the scale. Now, stupid me, I wasn't measuring myself either. So, though I may not have been losing weight on the scale, in fact, my weight was going up and down. So, I was, I was just getting really pissed off with myself. But I should have been measuring my waist because I later found out that even if you're not losing weight on the scale, you can still lose weight or still, you can still lose inches. So really and truly, I should have been measuring myself. And you know what? I'm still an idiot because I still haven't started measuring myself, but that's fine. I'm going to start. I'll start tomorrow when my sister wakes up. Happy birthday to my sister, by the way. Anyway, my current weight is 126.1 kg i don't care what anyone says i'm extremely proud of myself that is without exercise that is just strictly doing the keto diet i'm extremely proud of myself because i've never lasted on anything this long not even with healthy eating this is the longest i've lasted and i think that is a lot of weight to lose from may 28th up until what is the date today's the 12th of august my sister's birthday i'm very proud of myself even if no one else is i don't really care to be honest but yeah i've experimented a lot with a lot of products and a lot of recipes i found some amazing youtube channels who have really helped me with 
finding good food to eat because if it was down to me i i would honestly be quite lost my favorite youtube channel is headbangers kitchen his food is amazing and honestly i put it down to him being indian i feel like because he's indian you're not gonna lack in flavor you're really not gonna lack in flavor i wish there were more african um keto youtube channels i found a few though i will try and link them below if i can remember what their names are but my go-to from day one was headbangers kitchen i remember i think in my second or third week of being on keto i made one of his um peanut butter cheesecake recipes i had a slice a day and i i just kept losing so much weight the reason why is because it was so high in fat i really struggle to reach my fat targets even up until now i've been doing this for how many now uh, i've been doing this for how many months now and i still struggle to reach my fat target but i've 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 um, I've finally left that plateau and I mean I'm losing weight again I am losing weight again according to my app I'm down 11 kg so I'm happy I'm very happy why am I doing this why am I doing this seriously why am I doing this what is even the point what is the point i'll tell you why i'm fat i don't want to be fat anymore i'm not healthy i want to be healthy um my goal is to try and do this for at least six months i have to be very honest my birthday is in two weeks 23rd of august my birthday i have every intention to eat spring rolls I'm sorry, do you know why? Do you know why? On keto, like you can you can find nice um tortilla wraps or you can make like egg rolls and whatnot, but there's nothing that has that spring roll crisp. You know when you bite into the spring roll like, that that crisp oh my god. There's nothing like that you well, I haven't found anything like that yet. So, and until then, I have every intention of eating spring rolls on my birthday, guys. <laughs> Forgive me. Okay, I'm trying my hardest. But then after that, back to being strict. Yes, yes. Another reason I'm doing this is because of my daughter i want to be able to chase her in the playground or chase her in the park or chase her around the house and have fun and and do lots of high energy activities with her i want to be that mum i don't want to be the mum that's oh my break. i'm tired no i don't want to be that mum at all it's embarrassing sometimes well for me it's just it's embarrassing i mean i'm embarrassed right now so i'm making a change i can't i honestly cannot go on like this no not anymore it's not healthy it's not safe and i want to live a long enough life to see my daughter grow up and be a very healthy happy old person it's interesting because i remember at about two and a half weeks of being on this um at about two and a half weeks of being on this diet i remember stepping on the scale looking at remember i told you my scale is digital and it's bluetooth so i can look it on my phone looking at my phone go round and round and round and then it settled on a number and i was like sorry i've lost how much i was happy i was very happy and i've kept going since then i have no regrets i do miss watching i keep telling myself that yes it does get difficult at times but at the end of the day food is always going to be there spring rolls are not running away 
so I can do this for a while. Or if I want to do this for the rest of my life, I can do that too. But spring rolls are always going to be there. So if I want to eat a spring roll, I can eat a spring roll in the future. Just not now. I'm on a, I'm on a short ban. And honestly, I, I couldn't be happier. I'm very happy that I've done this diet. I recommend it to everyone. Everyone. Because it's not just um, a weight loss regime there are other benefits to it that i encourage you to google yourself i do encourage that you research keto a lot before you jump on it took me a lot of research before i decided to just do it i thought that it would be a serious struggle for money it is expensive don't get me wrong it's very expensive but there are ways around it um this was actually meant to be a short video I wanted to make a very short video, but yeah, if you have any questions, please put it in the comments below. Please like this video. Please su there, 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 there. please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and please share. Okay. I'm, I'm back. So I'm going to be making more videos. I'm going to update you weekly on how it's going for me, how I'm able to do keto as a mother. Um, if I if I have any struggles doing keto as a mum, yes there are. I'll do that in another video though. And um, yeah, on that note, I'm gonna make my next video. Bye.